Hey there, Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com, coming at you again with yet another video. This is a subject that so many people have wrong. If I had a dollar for everybody I consulted with that thought it was this way when it's really this way, I could probably retire by now. What it's going to go over is not glass, <clears throat> it is the framing systems. And we're going to go over specifically vinyl because vinyl has some unique properties that make it really good or really bad or somewhere in the middle. And here's what I'm getting to. Whether or not you need to put foam inside these cavities, that's what the video is about. So in all of my collectiveness, of going to Germany and Canada and multiple facilities across the United States and with my fourth book coming out on Windows now and speaking with engineers and other people that are specialists in different types of areas of efficiency or structure, here's what it's boiled down to. The foam's a gimmick. You can believe what you want, but when it comes to vinyl windows, the foam inside the chambers is not needed and let me explain why because I don't want you to think that I'm sitting here telling you that foam is not an insulating material I never said that some things you have to put foam in or around and I'm going to explain why your run-of-the-mill vinyl window has a couple problems First of all, the material is just a low-grade plastic. It's not a high-grade plastic with proper compounds mixed in with it. Your second one is the construction. You can see this has four chambers here. On the side, this has seven. Here's another window brand. This has the sash piece in it that would go up and down on a double hung. You can see this has about four little chambers in here. You have two at the bottom, and you have four on the side. What I want you to notice is the four here, only one has foam in it. The seven here, only one has foam in it. This has no foam in it, and the four that are on the side here, only one has foam in it. And the sash itself that goes up and down that holds the glass has no foam in it. So they try to convince you the foam is needed, but it's like the old Wendy's commercial, where's the beef, where's all the foam? When you get into your better types of vinyl frames, and when I say vinyl frames, that also mean, means that your better types of vinyl frames can often outperform wood windows, fiberglass windows, uh, the Fibrex window. Again, if you're not getting those proper performance ratings, it doesn't matter if you know what the frame's made out of or how it's put together. You still need the ratings that tell you the outcome of the whole window's performance. This window has 23 chambers in it. 23 chambers. 23 chambers. 23 chambers. This is well above average. All the performance ratings on it are phenomenal. They do come with triple pane glass options which most clients pick once they understand the performance of the glass. But the reason some companies put a little bit of foam in that frame is because you don't know any better and you get carried away with it and you think that the foam is needed in these as an insulating material when in fact what's doing the insulating in any of these frames is the dead airspace. Now there's a difference between airspace and dead airspace. Airspace is when a cavity is too large or open and the air would move around. That type of cavity, such as around the window when it's installed in the wall, you do need to insulate around that window for energy efficiency purposes. But when it comes to cavities inside the window that are very small, and they're sealed off, nothing can get in, nothing can get out. That's considered dead air space, and dead air space physically stops air from moving around and circulating within that cavity. And that's simply why they're not needed. It's not, foam's not needed in these because Jay Johnson says so. They're not needed in here because of laws of physics. And laws of physics state 
that if you can create a small sealed cavity where the air doesn't move around, there's no reason to put foam inside that cavity. So don't buy into this. This is a gimmick, and it's just for eye candy or consumer appeal in your case. The more chambers you can get in a vinyl window, the more strength it's going to have, the more energy efficiency it's going to have, the more noise reduction it's going to have, and there's no need for any foam inside that frame. But when you install any of these windows, or a wood window, or you install a fiberglass window, or you install the Fibrex window, or an aluminum window, all of those windows do need foam insulation around it between the window frame and the wall to complete that efficiency of a proper install. Anyway, I really hope this helps because this is one of the top three common things people have way wrong when it comes to what's the inside of the frame need to have. I'm Jay Johnson. Look for my new book coming out this year called Shopping for Windows 101 and it will be featured at the Tucson Book Fair Festival mid-March. Thank you so much and look for more videos.